Hi there, and these comments are for a student who completed a free writing practice test. This is over at OTC.com, right? I have this free writing evaluation service, and too many people today have done this. And uh, I'm actually give you a video, a little bit of video correction on yours. There's just this one thing I think that you can improve on in your writing, and if you if you get this idea, I think that you can dramatically improve your writing score okay so I'm gonna put you in the high three area so you have somewhat developed explanations examples and or details that's the that's the one thing that I think can really skyrocket your TOEFL writing score right so let's take a look at it overall you have a pretty good structure to your ideas but it's just when I'm looking at it, it's just not that impressive. You have 306 words. You can I've seen students who score much higher by developing the paragraphs a lot more. I've had several people over the last two months get 29 and 30 on the writing section, and each of their body paragraphs are almost double the size of yours. So uh, I'm encouraging you to try to get to about a 450 to 500 words. But Michael, how can I do that in 30 minutes? I know it's very tough to do that, but that is what you want to try to do. So I'm going to just show you one paragraph. So let's look at your first body paragraph. First of all, if teachers are paid according to their students' learning, they, they may be unfair to students uh, who perform below average. Some students are from different backgrounds with various talents, and some can get high scores easily, while some need to work in extra hours to keep pace on schoolwork. High score, you could change this to uh, highest scoring. Students will get more attention at school if teachers are rewarded from their scores, which brings about discrimination against students who can't get good grades. But there's just, there's no meat and potatoes here. It's almost like you're just, I'm sitting down to dinner. I want not just a salad, but I want a main course. You don't really have the main course in there. You need the concrete details. So here's what the main course looks like. So what you wrote here is uh, 76 words. Here's my revision where we can develop your ideas to 150 words, more than double. So let's take a look at the, the difference here. First of all, if teachers are paid according to their students' learning, they may be biased against students who perform below average. So then I use a word like for example. See, you didn't use it, you didn't say for example or for instance because you didn't give any details, right? You gotta get more specific. The principal of the high school I attended based teachers pay on student learning, even giving teachers bonuses when students scored high on standardized tests, right? At that time, I was taking a difficult biology class with about 30 other classmates, 10 of whom excelled academically. During our discussion of meiosis and mitosis, two forms of cell division, our instructor only allowed students, you want to put here, whose grade point average was at least 90% or higher to participate in the labs after class. However, like a majority of the students in the class, my average was only 79%. So I missed the opportunity for a valuable experiment which could have helped me master the course materials even better. How about much better here? Let me change this. We have, since my teacher was motivated by higher pay, he definitely favored the more intelligent students. So what's the difference here? So we have an idea called depth. It's the progression and depth of the ideas, right? So if, if you go back to the rubrics, right? It says you have somewhat developed explanations, exemplifications, and or details. Really, you don't have really any developed exemplifications or details in there, but you have a pretty good writing style, which I liked. Now, if you look at the, the uh, let's go to the five. This is where you want to go, and I can help you get there, by the way. 
it says it's well organized and well developed using clearly appropriate example ex explanations exemplifications and or details that's what the paragraph I just showed you have or that it has you notice it talks about for example the principle it talks about the biology class it talks about uh, the cell division area and so on and so forth so if you notice the the detail it starts in line two and it goes for a hundred and thirty words what do you think that means to your writing academically that means that you have a lot more depth and complexity of thought to your ideas it's much more convincing to look at this paragraph as opposed to yours so that's the one thing I said in the beginning of the video that's the one thing that you want to do is to really take time to bring up an example in a particular body paragraph and then spend time to develop that over about a hundred or more words and your paragraphs are dramatically going to change uh, if you follow that one tip alright thank you for doing the writing practice test and remember Uh, you definitely can get yeah if you if you go back to my course over at online TOEFL course com I do have a recommendation for you I think that my TOEFL writing boot camp course is a great course for you right it gives you error correction on two different writing practice tests much much more thorough than what I did right now right and then you can complete at least 15 to 20 additional writing practice tests over the four week period and you have complete access to all of my lessons in my online TOEFL course right you say but Michael it's hundred and thirty dollars you know what well why don't you take a composition course at a university that's gonna cost you for a semester probably three or four thousand dollars you see what I'm saying? So this is a lot less expensive and you will get exactly the instruction you need and I really believe this. You can get with some practice probably 29 to 30 points on the writing section of the TOEFL IBT. Alright, thank you.